So I've put a pattern of dots in there. Uh, put a few more in here, I think, just to sort of fill it up. And that's what the Pac-Man now has to go around the maze and collect. So what I want to happen is whenever Pac-Man runs into one of these little yellow dots, I want the yellow dot to disappear and I want the score to go up. So let's do the first one of those first. So I need to decide whether I want this to happen on the Pac-Man or the food. And I'm going to do it wrong to start off with. I'm going to put it onto the Pac-Man and I'm going to add an event and the event is a collision with the food. And now, so I now need to say what I want to happen when the Pac-Man walks into the food. And what I want to happen is I want that particular piece of food to be destroyed. So if I go to the main one, what I've got here is like a little recycle bin and it says destroy the instance. And it gives me then three things that I can choose to be destroyed. So this is the Pac-Man walking into the food. The first choice is destroy yourself. So this could be, if for instance in a game you walked, you wanted your um, character to walk into a bomb. And you'd want it, when it walked into the bomb, you'd want it to destroy itself. Not destroy the bomb. So no, when the Pac-Man walks into the food, we don't want it to destroy itself. We could pick something else that it wants it to destroy. Um, some other object, we could say destroy some of the wall blocks, for instance. Or we could pick an object. And again, with the objects, there's a list of the possible things. And we could put in food. Now, so what it's doing here, it's saying if Pac-Man walks into the food, what I want you to do is I want you to destroy the food. Not that particular piece of food, not that one piece of food you've walked into, but all of the food. So destroy the object food, not just that one particular piece. And if I try that, if I play the game, so I click OK and play the game. Give it a second to come up. And I walk into the first piece of gun. Every piece of food, because the object food has disappeared. I didn't want the object to disappear. I wanted the just that one piece of food to disappear. So if I go back to my Pac-Man, and I'm going to delete that. So what the way around we do it is by actually making it that we want the collision to be on the food. Now this sounds slightly sort of bonkers. I want a collision between the food and the Pac-Man. And when that happens, I want you to destroy yourself. So yourself is just that one piece of food. Not the object food, just yourself. So when the food is walked into by Pac-Man, destroy yourself, just that one piece of food. So if I try that, click OK and OK again and press play. Give it a sec to come up. This time the Pac-Man when he walks into the food just one single piece of food disappears. So I can now start eating my way around the maze. Now the second thing I said I wanted to happen of course is I now want a score to appear. So I want to be able to earn points by eating the food. So what we need to think about next is how we can add a score onto the game and then how we can make the score go up every time the Pac-Man eats a piece of the food.